The Wyandotte is an American breed of chicken developed in the 1870s. It was named for the indigenous Wyandotte people of North America. The Wyandotte is a dual-purpose breed, kept for its brown eggs and its yellow-skinned meat. It is a popular show bird and has many color variations. It was originally known as the American Sea Bright. The blue-laced red Wyandotte is perhaps the most attractive Wyandotte. At the current time, the blue-laced red Wyandotte is not a recognized variety of the Wyandotte family, although this is just a matter of time. Blue-laced red Wyandots are a medium-sized chicken. On average, adult roosters weigh eight and a half pounds, and adult hens weigh six and a half pounds. The breast is deep, full, and well-rounded. The body of a Wyandot is of medium length, but very wide, carrying that width across the back and into the tail. It is clean-legged and fairly close-feathered, and has a broad skull with a rose comb. The skin and shanks are yellow, and the earlobes, face, and wattles are red. In general, the body of the blue-laced red Wyandotte varies in shades of blue to blue-gray becoming darker towards the upper neck and head. The wings, breast, and back feathers are red to reddish brown and delicately laced with the same blue color as the body, making for a strikingly beautiful bird. Colors can vary widely, so if you are buying day-old chicks, it's best to know what the parents look like to get some idea of what you may be getting. Reputable hatcheries in the United States offer blue-laced red Wyandots and are a safer bet. Hens lay large creamy brown eggs, often with white or darker brown speckles. They begin laying at around six to seven months and will produce 200 to 250 eggs per year. Their rose combs and abundant fluffy feathers make these birds very hardy in cold weather. Wyandots are a friendly and gentle breed and make a good addition to any backyard flock. They are good mothers and can be prone to broodiness and will usually accept any eggs placed under them for hatching. They tolerate confinement well, but if allowed to free range, they are good foragers, ideal for the pasture-based family farm or homestead. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever a new video is posted.